The Kaveri engine, developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment under DRDO, was envisioned as the power plant for India's light combat aircraft Tejas. However, despite decades of work and significant investment, the program failed to meet its operational goals. Why the Kaveri engine couldn't succeed Technological complexity and knowledge gaps Developing a fighter jet engine is among the toughest engineering feats, requiring mastery in materials science, thermodynamics, aerodynamics, and high-precision manufacturing. India lacked prior experience with advanced turbofan technology. Critical technologies like single crystal blades, thermal barrier coatings, and high-pressure compressors were not fully developed domestically. Underestimation of challenges When launched in 1986, the project was given a 10-year deadline, which proved unrealistic. Core subsystems such as the compressor and turbine faced problems like compressor stalls, excessive weight, and thrust efficiency. These setbacks highlighted how the program underestimated the technological leap required. Weak industrial ecosystem Unlike the US, Russia, or France, India's aerospace industry lacked a mature supply chain and testing infrastructure. Dependence on imports for critical components and materials caused delays and compatibility issues. Limited international collaboration. India initially pursued self-reliance with minimal foreign help. Without access to proven global expertise, progress slowed. Later, collaboration with Francis Snekma, now Safran, came too late to rescue the program. Thrust shortfall and performance issues. Target thrust, 81 to 90 kN with afterburner. Achieved thrust, 70 to 75 kN, insufficient for the Tejas. High fuel burn, overheating, and poor altitude performance made it unsuitable for combat aircraft. Project management and delays. Bureaucratic hurdles, shifting requirements, and lack of test facilities slowed development. India had to rely on Russia's Gromov. Flight Research Institute for High Altitude Trials, causing extra delays and costs. Why it's considered a failure? The Tejas had to adopt the US made GEF 404 engine, defeating the aim of self reliance. Time and cost overruns. A 10 year project dragged on for three decades, costing thousands of crores. Strategic impact. Knowledge gained was useful, but no production-ready engine emerged. Reputation damage, its failure dented India's confidence in indigenous aerospace programs. Money spent, total estimated cost, 300 to 400 million dollars. Expenditure included, design, prototyping, and testing. Building R&D and testing infrastructure. Payments for foreign collaborations, example, Snekma Consultancy, Russian testing. Additional spending followed the 2014 revival, including a 250 million euros technology transfer deal with Safran, 2016. Current status and silver linings. Despite setbacks, the Kaveri is not fully abandoned adapted into the Kaveri Marine gas turbine for naval use, showing trial success, being considered for UAV and non-combat platforms, provided valuable expertise, labs, and infrastructure for future projects, formed the foundation for DRDO, Safran Cooperation, to develop an engine for the advanced medium combat aircraft. Conclusion the Kaveri program highlights how India's ambitious pursuit of self-reliance in jet engine technology was hampered by technological gaps, industrial shortcomings, and poor project management. While it failed to power the Tejas, 
it laid the groundwork for future aerospace progress. Today, India is taking a pragmatic approach, combining indigenous R&D with international partnerships to overcome the very challenges that derailed the Kaveri. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Kaveri Engine in the comments section.